down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Oh, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. It's I guess. okay, girl. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Good morning, mister. How's life by you? You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You're... 
Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Looking to buy? Well, thanks. Bye then. Did we make it clear you ain't welcome here, damn it? Someone gonna help a fella out. Somebody. Just get out of my way. Right up, Valentine. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you seen. Sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Watch where you're going. It ain't wise to stroll through here after what you did, friend. Hey, come on! Don't you touch it. Welcome me. back. No. Oh. Hey, weren't you the one in here talking to that feller with Jim Boy Calloway? Yeah, that's right. More like Jim Drunk Old Man Calloway. Okay, then, I'm gang. <laughs> sure seems that way.
Let's go. Take a while to warm up, is all. Mm, feeling good. Taking what's left of my fingers and getting out of here. Okay, bye. Might as well make me some extra money. All right, all right. Hmm. Oh. Damn it all. What a waste. Time for stabbing. Can't afford to risk my hands at this. Good fun, thanks. How about I join the fun? High stakes is how I like it. Fine, no problem. So long. Buy something or get. Don't take up room. Evening. Thanks, mister. You ain't scared of nobody.
eight. Help a blind man. There you go. You didn't run when last we spoke, sir. You didn't run far enough. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. I'm sure you got better Come on, things girl. to do than follow a lame blind man around. Richard Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> wow. Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Come on. something on you. Well, this map better take me somewhere good or ah, suppose there ain't much I can do.
horse don't listen. Come on. Oh, numb. Please hurry. Oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh, oh yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Let's go, girl. travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. 
I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. Well, I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I, I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. This sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Why'd you stop? Yep. a little further.
The ranch maid. Miss Millet, you know where I can find her? Don't know where she is now, but she's probably with Cooper. You know where she is? Lily? Just over there by the store with Cooper. Hello. Damned asswipe. I'm only joking with you. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? Uh, nuh uh. It's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called no. himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. All right, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Yeah. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one has been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. Safe spot to fence wagons and coaches. That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by
must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. <laughs> There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Now, I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs>
Get that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? What are you doing? Get back on the road. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Thank you. 
morning, man. All right. Morning, mister. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? Much Good better. morning, Arthur. But those mountains morning, were gonna Jay. kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I... I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You've done that before. <laughs> I know. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. How are you today, Arthur? Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Well, I should get back to it. I should do some work. 